Hey y'all, so I just completed the Chloe Ting challenge yesterday. Um, I'm really interested in doing a new challenge and I saw this like three mile a day um, running challenge and I always kind of enjoy jogging. I don't really like full out running because I'm not very good at it. I always end up walking on my jogs. Um, but I do want to get my endurance up so I don't like huff and puff when I go off stairs and shit. So I really do want to like improve my maybe mile time, my pace. Um, and also I just really like the outdoors and it's always such a nice day here in sunny California in the summer. Um, during the Chloe Ting challenge, I didn't really get to go outdoors as much because yeah, just like staying in the same place and doing workouts, like flies will just land on you because you get like sweaty and hot. <laughs> but when you're running, that doesn't really happen. So I think I'm going to take this opportunity and spend some more time outdoors, probably just do a week of three miles a day, hopefully get my endurance up, um, get a healthier like feeling, I don't know. I just like running usually, but um, I don't do it consistently and I also am not very good at it. So maybe I'll improve. I just downloaded the Strava app because I'm interested in running outdoors, but I'm not really interested in keeping my pace um, like on a track. So I heard this is a really good way to keep track of your runs. Um, and I will give you all the stats and all the deets um, after my runs. Okay. I will see you guys, bye. Hey guys, I'm walking through my old elementary school after one mile run. Um, I actually ran that like, pretty hard. Like I try to like exert most of my energy and I only got an 850. My fastest amount of time I think is like 720. Um, I did this in seventh grade and I don't think I have done a single mile, timed mile since like eighth grade. Kinda out of breath now, and that was only a mile. I have two more left. I'm gonna take the next two a little bit easier. Um, the first one I was trying to time for the most part. Um, but yeah, it feels good to run and exert a lot of your energy. I remember in middle school, I used to go hard for those runs. I was never a runner. Um, I did dance most of my life. So that was like my sport, but I tried so hard in PE. Um, and yeah, it would be nice to get back to like the sevens, but I think getting under a nine was like, whew, pretty tough already, so whatever. Um, we'll just see how it goes throughout the week. Hey y'all, I just finished three miles. That was a little harder than expected. I did it a little bit over 30 minutes, which is more than 10 minutes a mile. Um, I got pretty severe cramping on my right side during the second and third mile. Um, so that's not great. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with what I ate before. I ate a granola bar. I, I typically, before runs, when I used to do running in PE, I always used to eat a banana. I usually helped a little bit with the cramping. So maybe I'll do that. I'm also not used to running three miles at a time. I usually do one or two, definitely have walks in between. Um, I did have a little walk in between on this one and I did walk throughout the miles as well. The second and third one. The first one I jogged all the way through. So, <sighs> okay, pretty good first day. I do feel kind of exhausted, but in a good way, like in a way that I'm like ready to work and sit down and do stuff um, because like my body is physically tired, but my brain is awake, which is something I find pretty specific to running. It just makes you feel even more awake because you're outside and you're like taking in fresh air. Okay, see you guys. Great first day, bye. Also, it's gotten progressively sunnier since I started running. Um, I definitely think I will maybe turn it back to like 10 o'clock when I do my runs, um, typically because today I had a meeting at 10 so I couldn't do that, but I feel like it's a better temperature to run at. I'm kind of sweaty now. But then again, when you run when you're sweaty or like when you work out when you're sweaty, you probably burn more calories. So it's like a heated workout. <laughs> I really have like nothing in the fridge that feels appealing to me, but I kind of want to eat a quesadilla. So this is a lot of times what I eat in school. Um, I'm going to show you how to make it 
and it's super easy. It takes about three minutes, which is all I have time for in school usually. Um, but it'll be perfect because I have a meeting in a little bit. This is all you're gonna need, just two eggs, some cheese, preferred Mexican cheese, because it tastes better, and some tortillas, actually just one tortilla. Got this egg. I don't usually do this with my hand. Oh my God, oh my God, okay. I did it though. <laughs> New towel. So I'm gonna scramble them up later, but I usually just scramble it in the pan because I'm lazy. Trick, you don't need a spatula to scramble your eggs. You can just use chopsticks. Yummy. <laughs> yeah, this is my ratchet scrambling, but I don't really care as long as it's like kind of broken up into pieces so I can put it in the quesadilla. This is a problem. I don't usually use oil because I just think it's not really necessary for quesadilla. You're not really like sticking anything and eggs come off pretty easily on non-stick pans. Um, but you might have like a little bit of residue to clean up and it makes it a little bit healthier, you know? Less oil. I honestly think eggs are the most important ingredient to have in your fridge when you're a college student. You can survive with the eggs, I swear. Push my eggs to the side. I'm going to add a tortilla in here. Tortilla, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese. I can put it on the eggs as well, just so it's all blended in nicely. I'm also a little lactose intolerant, so I don't usually add much cheese, but definitely if you are not lactose intolerant, just go for it. Put as much cheese as you want. Great thing about this is it's just all in one pan, so I only have to wash one thing after this, which is essential for when you're in college and don't want to wash it. Once all the cheese has melted, you're gonna try to push all the eggs. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. I'm a little bit not competent with my hands, so just pushing it all into the quesadilla. Oh, she's a little wrinkly this time, but I promise I'll fold it better. Okay, see ya. Quesadilla. I'm just gonna. You don't even need a plate, you can just put it on a paper towel. Even easier, one, actually two utensils to wash and chopsticks don't really count, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let this cool a bit. Oh yeah. Here's my quesadilla. Taste test. It's kind of hot, so. Sorry, my hair's not even brushed, but whatever. How? Oh, huh. Tasty. So yummy. Easy. Two minute meal. Has your protein, your carbs, and some dairy. Essential.